Hi viewers, welcome to my class on mechanics of materials. In today's class, we will be discussing the change in length of a step bar under the action of axle loading. In the previous class, we have studied the change in length of a bar of uniform cross section under the action of axle loading as delta L is equal to PL by AE. So when it is subjected to an axle loading, say the uh, axle pull or axle compressive force, the length will increase or decrease by PL by AE. So where P is the axle force and L is the length of that uh, bar and A is the area of cross section and E is the Young's modulus. Now if we consider a step bar, a step bar can be considered as a bar which consists of a number of sections and each section having a uniform cross section. So in the figure I have shown three sections. So this step bar with the three sections. Now section 1 that is uh, which is having area of cross section A1 and it is having a length L. So as in this section the we can consider it as a uniform cross section and again second section we have uniform area area of cross section A2 and third section we have uniform area of cross section A3 so under the in this axial uh, compressive load each section uh, is subjected to same load because uh, it is only subjected to n loads each section will be subjected to the same compressive load and so load in each section is known and length of each section is known and area of cross section is also known. If you know the Young's modulus property, you can find out the change in length of each section separately. Okay. So find out the change in length of each section separately using the formula delta L is equal to PL by AE. With the load acting in each section, in this case it is all same load. So P in the whatever load is acting that you can substitute, length of that section you can substitute and area of cross section of if it is first section you can substitute A1 and uh, Young's modulus if it might be same for all the sections or it can be different. So if it is same you can substitute the same value for calculation of uh, change in length for each section. Okay, whichever value is applicable for that section, you can substitute for Young's modulus. So, the total change in length can be obtained uh, by summing up the changes in length of individual sections. So, individual section you can calculate for this section it is P1 L1 divided by A1 E1. For the second section it is P2 L2 divided by A2 E2. And the deformation of the third section is E3 L3 divided by A3 E3. So uh, after finding out the deformation of each section, you can add all these because all getting added up to get the total deformation of the step bar. So delta L is delta L1. Delta L1 is the deformation of the first section. Similarly, delta L2 and delta L3 you can add. So if you add all the three, you will get the total deformation. So we will get the formula delta L as P1 L1 divided by A1 E1 plus P2 L2 divided by A2 E2 plus P3 L3 divided by A3 E3. So uh, this is the uh, formula for uh, total change in length of a step bar. Now in this case uh, three sections have a different uh, Young's modulus or the same Young's modulus, if it is same Young's modulus, you need not uh, use the subscript 1, 2, 3. And the area of cross section, usually it will be different, but even if it is same, and uh, you can apply that, same with the different uh, loading, in between the load loads may come, and uh, how to calculate the load acting in the individual sections, I will explain in the next class. Now length of the sections, uh, L1, L2, L3 are the length of the sections. Now let us uh, work out a numerical example. Now in this example we have to find out the total change in length of this step bar under the action of 
an axial pull 30 km. So uh, bar is subjected to uh, loads at the end and uh, all the sections has to withstand this uh, axial load. So first section uh, 30 kN is acting, even second section has to resist 30 kN, even the last section has to resist the same load 30 kN. So uh, load acting in all the three sections are same. So P1, P2, P3 all same 30 kN and kN you can convert into uh, Newton by multiplying by 10 days to 3. So in this example area is directly given by A1. Uh, so instead of giving the dimensions of the cross section, I given the area directly. A1 is equal to 800 mm square, A2 is 500 mm square, and A3 is 700 mm square. So that is a cross section area. If a dimensions are given, you should calculate the area. But in this case, since area is given directly, our uh, problem is simplified. So no need of calculating the area of the individual sections. And Young's modulus of the material, it's uh, common for all the sections and it's given Young's modulus as 100 gigapascal. So uh, we need to calculate the change in length of individual sections and add all the three which will give the total in this case elongation now young's modulus is given as 100 gigapascal you, you know the conversion of gigapascal gigapascal is 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square so it is equal to 100 is 10 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 3 we we'll get 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square now elongation of first section is uh, the load is uh, load in all the three sections P1, P2, P3 all same 13 to 10 raised to 3 and even Young's modulus is same E1, E2, E3 are same so you can substitute 10 raised to 5 and uh, lengths are different areas are different ok lengths is 200 so in this formula PL by AE I am substituting uh, the corresponding values for that section so P and uh, Young's modulus are common but uh, length L1 is 200, A1 is 800. So substituting that, you will get the value as 0.075 mm. Similarly, delta L2 is P2 L2 divided by A2 E2. Uh, substituting the for the force, length, area, and Young's modulus, you will get the delta L2 as 0.18 mm. Now delta L3 is P3 L3 divided by A3 E3. P3 is 13 to 10 days to 3, L3 is 400, A3 is 700 mm square and Young's modulus is 10 days to 5. So you will get the delta L3 is 0.1714. So when you apply this formula, the important thing which you have to note down is all the units, units should be consistent. So you should uh, remember to substitute the load in Newton, length in mm and uh, here it should be in mm square since you are using mm you should use the uh, area mm square and even young's modulus it should be here you are using newton for the force so it should be newton per mm square okay uh, again per mm square per unit area uh, newton is a load so here also it should be newton per mm square okay that should be the young's modulus so force unit you are using Newton and uh, uh, distance unit mm, area unit mm square. So that consistency you should maintain. So you will get the change in length in mm. So in all the three sections it is subjected to axial pull of 30 kilo Newton or 13 to 10 days to 3 Newton. So all the three sections are elongating and you can add the elongation produced in all the three sections to get the total elongation of the bar. Uh, here, so here a change in length is uh, elongation. In uh, Each section is increasing in length by this amount and uh, adding all this will get the total deformation or total elongation of this step bar. So that is for today's class. Thank you for watching.